Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bonesaw577 here. Um, a little while ago, I uploaded a video about a Siren Sight Jack prototype that I was working on. Well, I actually, um, I modified that prototype that I made and actually made it into an original system that's uh, like, a, it, it is based on the Sight Jacking system from Siren, but now it's actually... Um, a bit more original. So now, um, as you can see, I've made uh, my camera, my character. Everything works pretty good here. Just normally the camera doesn't clip into any of the geometry, which is kind of nice. Um, in terms of the system now, um, what happens is when you press down the R3 button, it actually, like, it's like an out-of-body experience, I guess. So you can see your character there. It's got, like, the same sort of uh, crosshair like Siren does. And what you can do is you can take this camera pretty much anywhere. It can phase through geometry. You know, you can go through walls and stuff like that. Um, it goes up and down with the L2 and R2. You can just control it with the sticks. And so when we take this, like over here, basically, um, you can press any of the face buttons. So right there, I just pressed X. Here, I'm going to press square. Here, I'm going to press triangle. Here, I'm going to press circle. So I have... Um, uh, basically coordinates saved to all four face buttons now and now if I use the d-pad so um, each direction corresponds to either the um, x square triangle or circle button so down on the d-pad is uh, to recall the um, camera coordinates that were that are on the x button so if I press that Boom, we go back to where I press the uh, the X button. If I press left, that will bring back the uh, square coordinates. If I press up, it'll bring back triangle. If I press right, it'll bring back circle. So yeah. And it's even programmed that if you uh, press L3, if you get <laughs> if you happen to get lost or something. It just puts you right back at the player. Any, from anywhere, really. So, boop. Just like that. Um, there is a little bit of an anti-cheat method that has been implemented. So, like, to prevent the player from, say, going straight up into the air and, you know, looking down at the entire level, uh, the further that you get away from the player... Um... It, it will actually fade out until, you know, you can't see anything. Of course, you can still see, you know, where your character is, but you, you can't see anything else. Like, I'm looking around now, I can't see anything. So, yeah, that's a little bit of an anti-cheat method. So, if you want to, you know, look at another area, then uh, you have to bring the character closer to that area. And, and look at it. And of course, when you get closer to your character, that fading uh, goes away. Of course, there's a little bit of fog. Uh, the fading does kind of look like fog, but it is it is not fog. It's actually a fade over the screen. Yeah, and then when you press R3 again, it goes right back. So yeah, that's uh, that's just a little system that I made. It has some great potential for um, for puzzles, that's for sure. Um, I'm looking really forward to actually building something with this mechanic because it's it's pretty good. Um, it has a little bit more freedom, I think, than you know using the sight jacking system from Siren, but. Um, I'm hoping to make something with this in the uh, in the near future for sure because uh, it's looking good right now. So just have to build the rest of it pretty much. 
anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I, uh, I just wanted to wish you all, uh, some happy holidays, that's for sure, and, uh, hope you guys are taking it easy, and I'll be seeing you in the next video when I develop a little bit more.